My mission is to see babies come to this world without unnecessary interventions and unnecessary traumas. My mission is to see every parent uh, happy and every baby wholesome. Mission that drives me is helping people to claim what truly belongs to them, to enjoy the pregnancy and childbirth with the full extent that nature has planned for them. What we're trying to do is to restore the naturalness of childbirth and undo all the fear that surrounds birth. The United States has one of the highest infant and maternal mortality rates in the entire industrialized world. And this is in case when we have also the highest per capita spending. There is so much fear right now instilled in young generation. When you talk to any young girl, any uh, young woman, they, they're terrified from birth. An average young woman is exposed to about 110 episodes of horrible births. It looks horrifying. The images are horrifying. Their fear, their, you know, um, it's just dramatic, right? If we see the way media and medical literature have portrayed pr uh, pregnancy and childbirth, it's mostly from negative aspects of death and possible loss and possible harmed babies and the way we have tried to prevent this event actually have, has not worked. And in reality, we have created more problems on the way of preventing problems. Because of the fears, we have gone so far infringing and altering the natural process of childbirth to a point that nothing natural is left in that process. Our modern delivery rooms look like spaceships. We're so saturated with technology. And people think that if it's technologically saturated, then it must be good. We have to understand that all of those drugs administered to the mother have a strong impact on the baby's physical and emotional health. When it comes to birth experiences, we have gone way too far in the wrong direction. We have to move back and start all over. I had three traumatic caesarean sections, and for me, Hike Project is a way to heal. Our personal experience with three C-sections is was a huge learning experience for me to see what can happen when you go to hospital unprepared and submit your will to the establishment. I was so confident that modern hospitals will provide everything we need. And at that time, if anyone was to tell me that opposite is true, I would have rejected them. Uh, being a three times mother, I can tell that I don't know what birth is. I never experienced childbirth as nature intended. Few moments could have made a lifetime difference for us. C-section was done on time, and we are blessed that the doctor did the C-section on time. But we were not blessed because we didn't have to go to that point. I was given epidural. When the operation started, I could still feel the pain. And so they went to give another dose of epidural. And after that, I could not feel my uh, lower body for two days. And it was very traumatic for me because with my first baby, I, I didn't even know if I could ever walk. And we didn't know ways to stop that from happening. Now we know and we hope with this knowledge we can help other people not to go through this. Having our stories of success and failure combined with our own expertise in medical anthropology from my side and child psychiatry from my husband's, we decided to share the information to guide the generation that is coming after us about these most essential issues so they could choose another path, perhaps a more informed path a conscious path, I would say. An act of childbirth is an integral part of the woman's journey. It's a rite of passage for a woman. That's, that's something that a woman is born to do. It is truly the zenith experience we're ever going to have in this body. 
No doubt it takes tremendous courage to say, yes, I want to know what this feels like. I want to know what this experience is. Mothers who choose a natural birth and who choose to breastfeed and co-sleep uh, with their babies, they feel liberated, they feel empowered, they feel more in control, and uh, generally they tend not to have postpartum depression. And women who take drugs or women who get cesareans or get bullied into induction feel often that something's been taken from them. From the moment that the child is conceived, the psychology of the mother, of the family, uh, and of the fetus changes. Everything is so uh, new and everything is so important and we need to nurture all of it. We need empowered mothers so we can have empowered children. You could call this a public health issue. I, I call it a human rights issue. You know, I call this absolutely a women's rights issue, a baby's rights issue. Scheduling C-section before the baby gives the signal is a major violation of human rights of that human being. The World Health Organization estimated that uh, annually 1.5 million babies are dying just because they're not breastfed. Traumas are actually part of normal life. We need traumas to be who we are. Yet we don't want artificial traumas. And trauma of birth, trauma of abrupt umbilical cord clumping, trauma of circumcision, trauma of being fed with cow milk, not human milk, trauma of leaving, being alone in the crib and crying with a parents waiting until you learn to calm yourself down. These are traumas that are totally unnecessary for humans. So now we have two choices, whether we're sitting and crying about it for the rest of our life, or we're picking up the pieces and find our way out of this mess and creating the life that we deserve. No one ever taught me things about my body such that I can be empowered about my body. So why suddenly, when we get pregnant, would we start making different choices? You know, we have to start making those choices much younger. We have to start educating our young girls earlier on. We absolutely have to have organizations that are focused on outreach, on educating women, because how are we even supposed to know what we don't know, that we don't know? Hike Project is a member-supported community nonprofit organization dedicated to bring awareness about these myriad issues of childbirth and infant care. We decided to include five essential issues. Childbirth, uh, when to cut the umbilical cord, the decision whether to circumcise the baby boy or not, breastfeeding, education and support, and where the baby should sleep for an optimal growth and development. Hike Project is the only one that brought all these five crucial topics under one roof and we're advocating for parents to follow these five basic recommendations. We have monthly seminars on these topics and we also counsel women on one-to-one -one basis. We do counseling on the phone. Uh, it's almost like a hotline on the phone. Sometimes this counseling can go as, as long as two years. We strongly believe that Hike Project is for everyone who cares for next generation those who are willing to learn more, those who are questioning things, those who are critical thinkers, those who do not take anything for the face value. Everyone who is interested in reconnecting with their body. It is essential that we go beyond what our doctor tells us during that five-minute doctor visit. It's essential that we educate ourselves on these critical issues because it's a one-time decision that we make and it is irreversible sometimes. We cannot go back and, and change that decision. The level of research that's done in Austria's presentations and Dr. Bogosian's talks, it's quite an astounding um, experience. She has an amazing talent of giving the facts and the research, as well as uh, making it personal. They don't push their ideologies on you. It's just knowledge. It's facts. It's statistics. Why believe in something just because you've been told over the years for it? You won't get that information anywhere else. It's definitely something that uh, 
it's not taught in schools, it's not taught in uh, other classes, it's something that everyone could benefit. I wish I came <laughs> before I was pregnant. Um, it's just the education, the knowledge that I learned here. I wish I knew it so I could use it to what I was doing um, before I had my baby. We've been listening to, to her advice, we've been giving other people advice, and we've become sort of like a, 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 a mini Hyde Project ourselves. The value of the Hyde Project more than anything else is education and awareness for families because the seminars are not just for new mothers, but that every mother, the grandparents, great-grandparents, everyone should go to the seminars to get the information that Ostrich is providing through the Hyde Project. We encourage our audience to look into Hike Project and see what they're missing and what they can gain from learning this simple knowledge that is not going to cost them anything. It can bring them the entire world of healthy child that we are slowly losing nowadays. Hopefully there'll be a point that I will not be able to practice child psychiatry because kids will be healthy. Too many times as young parents we said to ourselves, oh we wish we had known better. And my ultimate vision is that no parent should ever have to say, I wish I had known.